Hey Beans! Welcome back to another Animal Gym glitch video. These are the videos that I do every single week with glitches from you all. So if you happen to come across a fantastic unique glitch in Animal Gym, please email it to julian2moments at gmail.com. But for now, let's get started with the video to see which glitches were featured this week. We're kicking it off with Forgotten Bahari Bay, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's Bahari Bay, but it's forgotten because it's the Forgotten Desert. Liza just showed up in Bahari Bay and basically told this jammer, this is the Forgotten Desert, and then asked them to find a bunch of gems. And my favorite part of this entire glitch is not the fact that Liza told someone that an ocean is a desert, it's the fact that there are actual gems that showed up, and it says, it looks like this oasis needs water, when they're literally in a bay. <laughs> Number two, not even Animal Gym ads are safe from the glitches. Some poor little advertiser who hadn't done enough Animal Gym research, I don't, I really can't blame someone who probably has more of a life than to spend their time figuring out Animal Gym clothing logic. Okay, some poor little boy put two back items on the same box. That can't happen. And Animal Gym is misleading its concern. Okay. It's not a big deal, it's just pretty funny that their ad had, yeah. Number three is this person who should have logged in, but there was no password to enter. So, yeah. Number four is the fact that when you put a phantom shirt on an arctic wolf, the shirt itself goes under the fur, but the phantom emblem sticks out from under your fur, making a ridiculous looking thing that ends up being pretty cool for a glitch. Number five is a big old shame where basically people were just playing around Animal Jam and they got messages that said that someone's jammer wall was not available even though they weren't trying to access anyone's jammer wall at all they were just getting told these things I mean as you can see there is no jammer wall and even if there was something pulled up where you could have pulled up a jammer wall I guarantee they weren't trying to pull it up because no one uses the jammer wall Number six, green raccoons yeah you see the glitch that's it's green raccoons, it's the raccoons party, but it's only for green raccoons. Number seven is an underwater Jama Township, where basically all the people in Jama Township followed this person into an underwater land, and now there are a bunch of glitches of land animals in the water, and it says Jama Township, which I find pretty hilarious. Number eight is this person who has a lot of holes in their backpack after their pink spike went through their pink backpack entirely. Number nine is a non-member who somehow got 204 items in their den, even though they only have 200 item slots. Now, I can't even think of a single way this could have happened. At first I thought, well, it's probably promo items, right? Where maybe if they give you a certain number of items, then you get to keep them, and then you just recycle stuff later, and you can't accept any more items until you recycle a few. But actually, then I realized, when you get promo items, they come as gifts, the same as you do with the daily spin, and then you have to recycle an item in order to accept it. So there's no way that this person could have gotten 204 items in their den. And number 10 is the funniest glitch that I've ever seen, hands down, where this person's animal got completely rotated and then squished and turned into like this little two-dimensional pixel line of animal. I don't even know what happened here, but I love it. Next up is a very common glitch a few of you may have actually seen and a few of you may have actually experienced but with a little twist. A lot of the time, this glitch shows up when someone is trading you. Instead of an item showing up, it says that they're trading you this weird arctic wolf music looking thing with a rare symbol, a member symbol, a promo symbol, and an X button on it. It's basically just all of the default things that could show up, show up. But I've never seen someone get them once the trade is completed. I mean, obviously they didn't get to keep them, and these are just placeholders for real items, but I've never seen it say, you got these items, rather than just Fuzzy Bunny 2295 wants to trade you their two Arctic Wolf musics for your Black Wall. Number 12 is that. Number 13 is this snake who started playing even though its owner wasn't playing. Bad snake, no one told you to do that. You are your master's slave and you have disobeyed his commands. Number 14 is this flag thing. Yeah. So you know how there's that flag on top of the diamond shop in Jamaat Township? Well, apparently it followed this person into their den 
along with the name Jamon Township. But again, I've never seen an actual little item from Jamon Township follow somebody into a room. So I find this one quite cute. Number 15 is a glitch you may have seen with the non-member daily spin, but apparently it's happening with the member daily spin with the gifts that you're getting. So what happens is you get some gifts from the daily spin and then they go to your inbox, like your jamograms, and you have to go and click them to open them. But what's really weird about this one for me, in fact, so much so that it's the reason this is being featured, is that the daily spin is still showing up, even though the gift and the background of the jamograms are open. So there's no way this person could have opened the jamograms themselves because the daily spin is still open. So how did the promo gift get on top and the inbox get behind it? I have no idea. Number 16 are some beanbags that just, 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 uh, they're just really big. They're just, they're just really big beanbags, okay? What else do you want me to say? Happy late Valentine's Day. Here's a giant heart-shaped beanbag that doesn't even fit in the screen, jammers. Number 17, I am going to leave to you guys. I love these ones. See if you can spot the glitch. It's pretty subtle, but I believe in you all. You are expert glitch beans now that you've watched all these videos, right? you watched every glitch video. Okay, good luck. Number 18 is this boy who assimilated and became a phantom and somehow started walking in the phantom goop. And for some reason, I find this very cool, Animal Gem has actually programmed the phantom goop to act as a liquid. So when you stand in it, well, you sink down in it, which I think is really cool because there's no need for them to have ever programmed this since you can't technically go in the phantom goop, but they did it anyways. So shout out to you guys, Animal Gem. That's pretty cool. No, 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 it's not right. I'm sorry. Number 19 are these little plants that showed up in the middle of the scroll bar at the bottom with nothing surrounding them. Just a general thing that really shouldn't happen that I thought was pretty entertaining because it's just so ridiculous. <laughs> Number 20, this one is a little bit harder, but again, it's up to you guys. See if you can spot it, and if you do, please leave a comment because I want to see exactly how many of you guys are expert glitch beans and are able to find such subtle little glitches as this one. And number 21 is this floor in the water park den that was a little off kilter, just a little bit. You just missed the mark, buddy, but it's close enough. I, I don't think anyone will notice, right? Next up, this masterpiece is in this person's den. Yet when they search masterpiece and the items within their den, well, check that out. There's no masterpiece, even though they have masterpieces in their own den. And if you don't think this is this person's den, and maybe they're just searching masterpiece, well, they have the edit den tab up, which you can't open up unless you own the den. So how are there masterpieces that are in the den, which you must own to place, that the person doesn't own? And next up, this eagle who just totally glitched out of the adventure and found this beautiful scenic background that also had a lot of black in it. But again, this is really cool because it shows what things look like before Animal Jam finishes coding them. Since this person was a flying animal and this was not really meant to be a flying animal thing, well, you can see what it looked like when Animal Jam coded it and then didn't bother finishing because, well, they weren't supposed to be flying animals in this adventure, so they didn't really bother fixing the places where only flying animals could go. So it's cool to see exactly how things look before Animal Jam goes through and fixes them and programs them and does all that cool coding stuff. And next up, just all of the, just everything on this page, just, just all the letters, all the letters on top of each other all at once, very intense. Again, all the disgusting reptiles and amphibians all on top of each other at the same time. And this person who somehow got their trade list pulled up yet had the loading symbol on their trade list and a missing item on their trade list. Very spooky. Not to mention, if you did catch this before I said it, you are one pro glitch bean, and I believe in you, and you will be a future glitch boy and probably send in a lot of good glitches. But basically, the important thing is this person pulled up their buddy's trade list even though their buddy was offline. This was a glitch that was going around a few weeks ago, but it appears that it has come back somehow and that it is actually still possible to trade your buddies who are offline. So anyways, beans, Thank you so much for watching. These glitch videos are some of my favorites, and it means so much to me that you guys send in all these glitches because I can't be everywhere at once. So thank you guys so much for sending me in all the glitches that happened in Animal Gym because, again, I can't see all of them, and I'm relying on you guys to show me the best ones so I can make these 
videos and entertain myself and hopefully entertain you guys <laughs> it's sad but i do kind of make these glitch videos because i think glitches are awesome but anyways beans thank you so much for watching don't forget to send in your glitches to julian2moments at gmail.com and i will see you in my next video bye